in a tragic turn of events a colombian city that was graced by the presence of prince harry and Meghan markle was struck by a devastating explosion resulting in the loss of one man's life and leaving four others gravely injured this explosion occurred amidst a fervent protest in the el tunnel area which connects the cities of poine and cali located approximately 450 km southwest of the bustling capital bogota a paramedic who rushed to the scene sadly confirmed that the victim was a 60-year-old man residing in close proximity to the explosion site. The route itself has become a stage for impassioned demonstrations by indigenous communities who are demanding an audience with President Gustavo Petro. Despite the warnings and concerns surrounding their safety, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex chose to embark on their visit to Cali arriving on August 18th after spending the initial days of their tour in Bogota. Their decision to venture into Colombia raised eyebrows, as several nations, including the United Kingdom and the United States, had issued travel advisories due to the alarming levels of violent crime, such as homicide and armed robbery. Ever since relinquishing his official royal role, Prince Harry has been vocal about his apprehensions regarding the security of Meghan and their precious children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. This concern led him to take legal action against the Home Office, expressing his disappointment over the decision to diminish his security arrangements following his family's relocation to California in 2020. Renowned royal analyst Hilary Forwick previously remarked when it comes to security, Colombia holds a notorious reputation as one of the most perilous nations on the globe. The irony lies in expressing apprehension about one's safety in the United Kingdom while willingly venturing into a country known for its extreme lack of safety. Just a mere month ago, Prince Harry once again voiced his anxieties about the well-being of his loved ones in the captivating ITV documentary tabloids on trial. He solemnly stated, a single individual, influenced by the content they consume, possesses the potential to act upon it, whether it be with a blade or corrosive substances. These genuine concerns weigh heavily on my mind, 